So anyway, today we're going to be talking about fear. And I realized like I, like I haven't ever yet. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's definitely tougher, I think, for the long side right now. Um, well, we'll get into it. But anyway, today I want to talk about fear. And I realized that like I didn't, um, I was like, no way I haven't done an episode, an episode, you know, a webinar on fear. And so this is kind of a point to webinar, um, you know, just so I can point to it. Um, but there's definitely going to be some stuff that I think everyone needs to hear right now. And this one, I'm hoping it's going to be one of them. You know, I always hope that every time I make a webinar, it'll be, you know, it'll be one of someone's favorite. So I'm hoping that's the case. All right, let's get going. All right, so fear. If everyone has never seen the terminal, this is an amazing. <laughs> so good. Ah, I love that scene. Fear. <laughs> Shit. I meant to. Yeah. All right. So today we'll be going over the market sentiment. Then we'll do um, that risk target and entries uh, bit that I like to do where we go over the to go over the movers of the week and kind of see, you know, what what opportunities were available, what should have been avoided, all that stuff. You know, we'll kind of recap that. That'll be like a 15, 20 minute piece. Then we'll be talking about fear and Q&A anytime during the webinar, I'll try to get to it. Let's not go to waste. Oh yeah, uh, if you're just watching this on repeat, if you watch my webinar on hesitation first, uh, that would be probably helpful for you before you watch this one. Uh, Cause I go over a lot of, um, a lot of stuff that I touch up on here. And so um, also that one's one of my favorites because I put Dragon Ball Z stuff in there. So um, you better watch them because that's one of my favorites. All right, so this week uh, kind of blue for longs, just like not to sugarcoat it, it just wasn't that great. And what I, I mean, there's opportunity there. And if you're, it really depends on what kind of trader you are. Um, you know, like if you're like a lip, like a channel kind of trader where you just like the long dips, blah, blah, blah and stuff. I mean, your market, your market's going to be there all year round. Um, you know, that kind of that smaller basis stuff, you can always get dips and, and, and pops on stuff. Uh, but as far as which, you know, which one of the, you know, the, the traders that like um, shorts to win or longs to win uh, it, it, this week, definitely shorts won. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, and, and, that, and that's how you know that it's kind of like a weaker long market, right? When first bounces turn into a channel, that means that we popped up, we formed a low, which is normal, we bounced and we didn't break a new high, All right? That's what happens, right? Like long trades turn into channel trades when it's a weaker market, right? And so that's something that um, a lot of you guys can, um, you know, maybe, you know, like kind of adapt a little bit. Uh, or use as an adapting. If you always have, uh, if you guys always have a, what's the word I'm looking for? A system of taking half profit at that kind of high-ish area where the first bounce is, which I always recommend everybody do. Um, and and it's and you know and you know if it blocks out, you know, you know you can re-put those shares on, and essentially you'll be trading just like Bow does on the long side, right? Now, key word of caution. Um, normally on channel trades, um, when you channel trade, uh, uh, your profits can all be given back if the stock ends up picking a direction and you're left with a full size position uh, when it picks that wrong direction for you. You're going to end up giving every single one of your channel scalps back like so easily. Like you channel scalp, sell half, buy half, sell half, buy half, sell half, and then the stock tanks. You'll get back everything if you're if you have full size when it tanks. So the longer a channel goes on, especially on the long side, word of caution, you want to you want to be downsized. Um, yeah, if someone wants to post that link right before I can get to it, um, you want to be downsized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this was on my radar for a long. It just couldn't. It was just kind of boring. I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it. Um, but yeah, let's see what levels do we have to play off of. I mean, as far as a short seller, so as a short seller, you're praying it gets up here, right? Uh, into this, into this kind of like, 
um, this kind of low hanging fruit fail the other day or yesterday. So anyway, I mean, obviously you have resistance here at nine, 950 kind of stuff. There's obviously a resistance level right there at 940. You can count nine. Um, uh, so this is where you want your short. Now, as far as a long, the, the context of the situation is that, you know, we're, we're kind of, yesterday, we, you know, we got, you know, we gapped up, we pushed, and we kind of held, you know, we held on. And so as far as a long, I was looking for like a, like, I was like, oh, if we can reclaim eight, then, you know, if we can hold eight as support, then maybe we can get a long out of it. So the, the thing is, is though, that like, the, that's why I didn't take this trade. Like, because I was like, oh, but like, it's not like, like we have resistance here at nine. So I was like, I was like, what if like, let's say I don't get eight and it pops up to 850 and I have to get an 825 dip. And then like, you know, like then there's going to be resistance at 870 or something kind of, I, I, I didn't see the target in mind. I couldn't see that, that, that blow off the top target. And so I just kind of lost interest for it. But that was, those are my ideas for it was that if we can somehow claim eight, um, we, we might get a move, but also that 940 was a level two. And so, I mean, if you look at the chart, that's kind of what happens. Um, you know, we fail, we fail out of the open. I don't think that there's any long, unless you have some reason, right? Unless you have some fundamental reason why you think that like the stock's going to push today, then, you know, you start to dip, but that requires a fundamental thesis. I didn't have one. There's a technical thesis here that you could buy off here. This is kind of hindsight to buy here at 750. I think that the long trade here is right here. You know, we kind of push on eight. You know, you can kind of get into this dip or that dip. Oh, look, it even has an 820 dip too. Uh, <laughs> even has this little 820 dip here. So the long spots that I see on this kind of chart, if you're early on the idea and you like, if you had the idea that like we could push to nine today, then you can get this dip. Otherwise, I think this and this, these two are your money dips as far as um, longs are concerned. This is where you can get a piece of the pie. As far as a short, you're waiting all the way for nine. There, there's none of this. You don't short this on a, you know, you don't short something like this when we're reclaiming eight and prior close. You have to take this into consideration. And let's not cheat. We'll look here. When you're reclaiming eight and stuff, this is not a short. You don't short into this higher day here when we just kind of reclaim VWAP eight and prior close, right? You put all these together and this is not, this is not a safe short. So as a short, you're waiting all the way for nine. 